Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to the book refuge and welcome to a fun little book haul. So I don't have as many books as normal for a book haul. I've actually restrained myself a little bit in this last month, so good for me. But there was um, quite a few new releases in the last little bit. Um, I also now um, am subscribed to a couple book boxes and I also had some gifts sent to me and a couple used books, actually, not a ton. Um, I've kind of stayed away from a couple of my used bookstores lately just because um, I've been showing something called restraint that I don't always have. Um, but part of it is, is like pretty soon there's going to be tickets for Book Bonanza 2023 going on sale and I plan to go to that next year. And so I'm trying to hold back a little bit on buying more, you know, at least until I buy those tickets in September and then, you know, we'll forget all about that restraint. But let's go ahead and dive in. Um, I'm first gonna go through my stack of new releases here. And again, like some of these new releases are going back to June even, because I just haven't had enough books that I've needed to do a haul yet. Um, so some of these are going back a while, which is crazy. For a while there, I was doing a book haul like every two weeks. But let's go through this stack of new releases and we'll work our way through everything. So I have some historicals to start with, which is really cool. And I wanted to start with a historical that I have been raving about lately, um, particularly because it fit into a lot of categories that people sometimes ask me for. Um, this one has like an arranged slash kind of sort of coerced marriage. It's more arranged or convenient than that, but the hero does kind of put the heroine in a tight spot, which I loved actually. And then it's an age gap and it's actually a pretty like significant one. A lot of historicals have age gaps where the men are older. Like it just is that way in a lot of them. Um, but this one, it's a, it's a very pronounced because I believe the heroine is only like 18 or 19. Um, and that's Phoebe. And this is a book that I read actually the end of June because I read it on <laughs> the airplane back from Utah, which is kind of funny. I went to Utah to see, um, Sophie Lark and, um, Crystal and it was really fun. So yeah, this one, is a age gap between Phoebe, who is one of the five Bellamy sisters, and then we have Paul, who ends up like he's renting their family's house. And that's all I wanna say about that because I don't wanna spoil it, but I really love this. This cover is kind of interesting. I wish it was the same height as the rest of SM Love Violet's books. I'm not a huge fan of this. And also Amazon didn't do the best job printing this one either, but I don't care. The inside is still amazing. This book was spicy and emotional and I love how they grew to love each other. And yeah, so I highly recommend. Then some other new releases that I haven't read yet are Up All Night with a Good with a Good Duke by Amy Rose Bennett. This is the first book in the Byronic Book Club. I Quite a few of my friends have read this and really enjoyed it. There is A Duchess by Midnight by Cheris Michaels. This is book three in Awakened by a Kiss. Um, I had to have this. Look at this cover. I had to have it. There's no other answer. And then The Return of the Duke by Lorraine Heath. This is book three in Once Upon a Dukedom. She is going to be starting a new series after this that's like connected with this one. But also, I got to buy the Lorraine Heath. There's no, there's no other, there's no other option. Then I was sent this book by, um, uh, Eden Books PR or L Woods PR. Um, and this is an MMF royalty romance that I actually want to read very soon. Um, it was sent to me from Kelly Jameson and this is royally indecent. And this is, um, Chelsea and she becomes roommates with Ford and she believes that he's just gay and she has no chance with him. But then there's Griffin, who is a prince, and somehow all three of them end up falling in love with each other. And when I was asked if I wanted this book, I was like, hell yes, I do. I've read a couple books by Kelly Jameson before that were MMFs, and I really like them. So I can't wait to give this one a try. I'm glad I'm doing this haul because I want to read that one soon. 
Then I, of course, read and reviewed Twisted Lies in June. So here's my butterfly copy of this. I really actually love the uh, alternate covers of these ones. And the only one that I have, so I have the alternate cover for all of these, except, well, and I have both covers for Twisted Hate because I love that cover model who is Josh in there. But otherwise, I really like this. So this one is Christian and uh, Stella, and I loved this one. Then I, of course, had to get the special edition of Barbarian Lover. This is book three. I really do love these covers done by um, Berkeley. So I like the originals just fine, but I really like these recovers too. So I love those. Tease, which I read um, when it came out by Melanie Harlow. It's actually probably my least favorite in the series, but the cover is beautiful. And I actually like you could order this two weeks before the, the ebook came out because Melanie wanted people to be able to order copies for Book Bonanza. So I might not have bought a physical copy of this one if I'd read the arc. But this one is a friends to lovers fake fiance. Um, and both of them have like commitment issues that didn't really make sense to me. And that's always frustrating. We have Throne of the Horde King by Zoe Draven. This was the sixth and final book in the Horde Kings of Dakar. And I really enjoyed this series. There's going to be a spinoff series that comes after this. And yeah, she just did a great job with this whole series. This is a series that is very bingeable. There's audiobooks for books one through five so far. I'm sure this one's coming. And I just, the experience of reading those is unmatched. It was amazing. Then um, I have both Princess, which came out in July, and Embers, which just came out in August. And I read ARCs for both of these books. These are books two and three in the Kindle series. It is a like post-apocalyptic series. All the books in this series are like age gaps. Um, and it's usually them stuck together for survival. And I'm so excited to add these to my collection. I have all three of them now. The first one I actually have right here is Haven. Um, so there's these three. Hero is coming in December. But then the book that kind of kickstarted this, which I have one of the original covers, is Last Light. So this one is like a standalone. And technically you could reach each of these as a standalone, but they all kind of connect together. Um, so I do recommend if you want to read the series to start with Last Light, which is kind of like a Beth and Daryl fanfic. I'm just saying it. I'm saying it. Um, and then you can dive into these ones but I love them so much and like I said I'm really glad to add them to my collection all right then there is Mafia Madman by Mila Finelli which I just got and I actually read the other day this book just came out it's book three in the kings of Italy and this one is about Enzo and Gia and he takes her prisoner for revenge and they fall in love and it was great. Then there is Chosen by a Sinner, which also just came out and I also just read. Um, and this is book four in the Sinner series by Michelle Hurd. And this one is a got married in Vegas, but actually secretly I love you romance. I don't know how else to say it, but it was really fun. Um, I still probably like the third one the best, but I love that. Then we have Zephyr by Amara Ray. This is book four in the Immortal Coven series. And Amara has been knocking this series out of the park. I adore it so much. This one has a shifter named Alexander in it. And the heroine is Greer, who is part shifter, part air manipulation. And they are fated mates. But Alexander, for certain reasons, is saying that he is connected to someone else. So she feels like there's no hope for her to have a happily ever after because she's in love with someone who has already found a mate. And we'll see how that plays out. But I loved this book. I gave it five stars. Okay, then um, I just real quickly wanted to share this book because I won't have it in my possession for too long. Um, but that is Moonrise by Inez Johnson. And this is the August exclusive review for my patrons so I grabbed a copy of this I will be annotating and putting my thoughts in this book so if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on this book which 
Up, according to the blurb, this is kind of like a paranormal while you were sleeping. If you don't know what while you were sleeping were, I feel so old if you don't. But it was a like rom-com kind of it wasn't super funny all the time but it had Sandra Bullock in it and Bill Pullman and was it Bill Pullman it might not be Bill Pullman sorry it might not be him but it was a um or Bill Paxton I don't know now I'm messing it up but she rescued a guy from dying and then so that she could sit by him at the hospital she says she's his fiance like she lies and I believe this is supposed to be like that but it's like paranormal and when his brother shows up to check on him he actually is her mate and so he's like oh no she's in love with my brother but like she's my mate <laughs> so anyway so I'll be reading that soon um then I you know this is no nothing new but in July we did a a special edition of Rake Appreciation Society and we read Persuasion and actually bought the um like leather cloth bound version from Penguin and I like annotated it well um I read it but I did haul it so I had another copy of Persuasion but I wanted this like hardbound one to annotate so that's what I did. All right, then I have some books from some book boxes. And I've already showed these books off a ton, but oh my God, I'm so excited to display them on my shelf behind me. But the reason why I joined Mystic Box, the reason why I did was because there was some talk that Pam Godwin would be a featured author in an upcoming month. So I got on a list. I was on the wait list for three months. I finally got on. I sat through two other months where I didn't really care so much for the books. And then we finally got it and it was worth it because we got Sea of Ruin, with this gold foiling. Um, the edges look like this. The artwork that was sent is of Ashley Priest and Bennett and it's gorgeous. We are going to be reading this book for Rake Appreciation Society in November for our two year anniversary because it is one of Crystal and I's favorite books. Um, and it's a historical romance. It's a pirate. The heroine is a pirate. Her husband is a pirate. And they're being chased by a pirate hunter and it's glorious. And then also in that box was my um, other favorite love and that is Dark Notes. This is beautiful like gold cover. The notes on the side um, and the artwork in this one is um, these two here, Emmerich and Ivory at the piano, and it's beautiful. So these were these were worth the wait, y'all. These these were worth it. They're stunning, stunning. Okay, the other boxes that I either like bought one time of or joined in on. So um, I am a part or I signed up for a year of Renegade Romance, which is a bi-monthly book box done by April. And this month was V.D. Ludwig, who I had never read before. Um, and I just wanted to stick around because I wanted to see if I would like it. So I got Sign Here for Horns. And this is like, I think this is a um, an alien concubine. And it says, I accidentally bought myself an alien concubine. 30, recently divorced and behind on the mortgage. I scrape my last savings together and buy myself a farmhand. The big horned alien I end up with, he wants to plow more than my fields. So she like ordered help and instead she gets a concubine. So this looks super cute. Here is some art of this one. This is a safer work art there. So intrigued and then the other one this is a beautiful cover so this one is stolen by the warlord and this is an ash planet warrior this one is cool it has like a raised shiny lettering but it's a matte finish which i really like all the books so far in this box have been glossy and i don't love that because i take book photos and glossy is horrible but this one is like matte this one has a semi naughty picture so we'll show this one there's just some nips there's the artwork for that one. There's a nipple there, you know? Um, so yeah, this one is a captor captive one. So very much looking forward to trying that. Then I did a one-time box for, I can't remember what 
the prompt was for this one but I did get cover to cover book box basically for the Daniel Laurie that was inside um and I just absolutely loved this sweetest oblivion cover with the artwork so with this cover so I got this book box for this one now the other books that were in it I'm semi-interested in I've been collecting Oh, this one has a book plate in that I haven't put in. I've slowly been getting Ilsa Mad Mills books, and I've only read one. <laughs> but this one is Boyfriend Bargain. Dear Future Boyfriend. That's cute. And then I ended up with Close to Me by Monica Murphy. And this is book one in the Callahans. Now, this is one that I've seen my friend on TikTok read the whole series and she loved. So this one is a sports romance and I think I'll give this one a try. I've had mixed results with Monica Murphy, but that book looks cool enough for me to give it a go because again, one of my friends really loved that series and I've never tried like, I don't know if that one's like a regular sports romance or if it's a really dark romance. I don't know. Now the books I'm most kind of like nervous about for this. So there was the, um, which book box is this? I can't remember which book box this was that I got, but there was this book box, one of the dark romance ones that they had extra copies of the alternate cover of Untouchable. Now you could sign up for a mystery box and they were sending out three books at random that they had left over in stock. I found out after I signed up for it that there was a form you could fill out to request if there was a specific one you wanted. Otherwise, they just literally put three of their random books in there that they had extras of. And I got some interesting books. I did not get The Untouchable, however. Um, there, one of these books I've heard some interesting shit about and I may do like a vlog about it at some point, but I, this book caused quite a dust up on Twitter, which not Twitter on, um, book talk because people were going through a prudish phase again, saying that some kinds of dark romance shouldn't exist, which always makes me roll my eyes. Like if you don't want to read it, don't, don't police people's reading, even though I'm nervous about reading this. Like, I don't know that I will enjoy it. But still, it's not your place to tell someone what they're allowed to read. Anyway, the point being, I got Double Edged by Nyla Kay. This is the book that has twin brothers who love each other and their, like, step-uncle. Um, I'm not, I can't quite remember how that is. But, like, this cover of this one is beautiful. Like, this is beautiful. And... I've only read one Nyla K and I didn't love it, but I definitely would give it a try and like record myself reading it. So anyway, this cover is beautiful. I got Destruction by Jennifer Bean. This one just says it's a dark romance. Um, there's rope on the back. Interesting. So this is book one in the Fragile Ties. So I don't know anything about it at all. And then the other one, this one's by Sav R. Miller, who, I mean, obviously I know who that is. Um, and this one is, has a book plate in it, and it's Sweet Solitude, which says it's book two in King's Trace Antiheroes. So the cover is gorgeous. I've still never read a Sav L. Miller, Sav R. Miller, but I do own a few of her books. So those are the books I got in the book box. Um, so whether that's a hit or a miss, we'll find out, but it was still fun to get some random books that I knew would all be dark because for a while I did like the, the like romance or romance book, I can't remember which one I did, but I would ask for dark romance and they wouldn't always have dark romance to send me. So then what you going to do? Okay. Now, um, real quick, I'll just share, share a couple of, um, I only have five used books to share that I bought, so I'll show these quick. And most of them are rebuys or different editions, and I'll show you in a sec. So I did get An Unexpected Pleasure by Candace Camp. I've only I've read two Candace Camps now, and I'm liking them, but this was the Step Back. I actually used this in Step Back Saturday, and I stumped people, which made me happy. 
I finally found, now this still isn't a first edition yet, but it's a step in the right direction. So I found the original cover, just not an original edition, of Minx. And when I was at my favorite bookstore, which by the way, all of these that I'm showing you, they were 50 cents because this place does two for a dollar of these. And so I got this really good condition of Minx. Then I have been searching for this edition of this book for years, like before it was ever really popular. I found one of the like step backs of an offer from a gentleman. Now I have hardbacks of all of hers, but three of the hardbacks don't have step backs. So I'm trying to find the ones that do. So yeah, this one has the raised purple foiling and it has the absolutely gorgeous step back. Um, so I just had to have it, even though Benedict isn't my fave. I love this step back in this book. It's beautiful. And then the other Julia Quinn that I didn't have is I found the Everything in the Moon with this. So there we go. I'm slowly getting these collected. So I love it. And then the other one that I'm recollecting, I'm recollecting these Celeste Bradleys. Um, I don't know why I got rid of them, but um, this is one of the heiress brides that I don't have. And there's a step back here. So those are all the used books I had to share. I had more books in that haul, but they were books that I was putting a set together so that I could sell it um, because I did find a bunch of the other Bridgertons and I put them in a book box with a bunch of others on my eBay. So that was cool. All right. Now I just have some gifts to share. So I got another box of books from Molly. And if you don't know, um, Molly had sent me some random books before. Um, and some of them I'd owned and some of them I didn't. And this time she sent me a paranormal box. Well, most of them are paranormal. A couple of them aren't. And I have never heard of any of them. And I'm really intrigued by some of them. So I'm going to show you these. So there's Love and Curse Making by Kelly St. Clair. And all of these are like sign books too. Like Molly sends me these books she must have got out of book boxes or something. So there's this one. If you've read any of these paranormals and you like them, you should tell me where to start. The One and Only Crystal Druid by Annette Marie. And this cover is cool. Look at that. That's pretty slick. The Beginning Guide to Necromancy, book one, How to Save an Undead Life by Haley Edwards. I feel like I have heard of this one before. The Cursed Crown by... May Sage and Alexa Blake. Look at this cover. Love a fantasy cover. Then one other historical, or I mean paranormal, is Dark Fae Cursed, Broken Court, book one by Heather Renee. So there's those. Then there was three contemporary in there. There was Worth the Chase by J.D. Hollyfield. A Little... Pill Called Love by Jazz T. Ward and Royal Reckoning by Emily Silver. So let me know if any of those are good because this time they were all books I have never read or even heard of before. So that's kind of cool. So thank you, Molly, for sending me those. They are beautiful. She actually sent those ones to my P.O. box. If you don't know, I have a P.O. box always listed down below and I check it about once a week. And then a few gifts. So um, I have also a wish list that's always linked down below. And I had someone actually send me, Lorena sent me A Heart for Milton by Trudy Brasher. So I've actually owned this book before and I borrowed it to someone and I never got it back many years ago. And when um, everyone was watching North and South recently, because after we talked about Persuasion and how much we didn't like that movie, I really was suggesting people to check out North and South. Now, I actually love the book North and South. I like it a lot. And when I read North and South, I read it quite a while ago. I looked up on Amazon to try to find some pretty alternate covers of North and South. And when I typed it in, this book came up and it said A Tale from North and South. And so this is a basically a fanfic epilogue. And if you're wondering, how can they publish a fanfic? Well, 
When you do fanfic of a classic, because classic books no longer have a copyright, okay, like your copyright goes out eventually, people can make fanfic about your books. And that's why you can literally see people do stuff with Pride and Prejudice all the time because nobody owns the copyright for it anymore. You know, that's why tons of people can make um, new copies of Pride and Prejudice or they can parody it or they can literally do fanfic of it and use the same names, right? And this is, someone did that for North and South. So this is an epilogue and it also has open door scenes. I'm, I wouldn't say this is erotic by any means. It's a beautiful first year of marriage between Margaret and Mr. Thornton. So if you love North and South, whether the book or the BBC, and you want more because it leaves us at the train station and we're just like, oh, what happens? This book, it reworks the last like month of the timeline. And again, I don't want to spoil North and South in case you haven't watched it yet, but there are a few changes that get made and then it goes into the first year of marriage. And so, yeah, like you get to see relations between Margaret and Mrs. Thornton, the Dowager Mrs. Thornton, and you know, their, their first year together. And it's beautiful. I love it. It's sexy. And it's, it's great. I'm not saying it's the greatest literature ever, but I loved it. And so point being, Lorena, I put it back on my wish list because I was like, you know, my friend, I'm probably never going to get that book back. And my friend Lorena sent it to me. So now I have it and I'm so happy. Then um, Crystal actually sent me a book from my wish list to thank her for doing, to thank me for doing the read along with her. So she sent me the dare um, off of it, which I'm excited because Harley is going to be putting out like a sequel that is a, um, a polyamorous why choose that's going to be coming out and it will have MM stuff in it. So I'm happy. I want to reread that. It's just a little shorty. And then Christy just sent me a gift from my wish list to thank me for, she was a part of the Romance Takeover Readathon. And she sent me The Devil's Submission by Nicola Davidson. And it's just a little shorty here, but I love this. This has a submissive duke. It's less than a hundred pages. And I love, actually it's Lord Grayson. He's not a duke, um, but he likes to be dominated and his wife doesn't know how to handle that. So she learns. And then the last thing I want to show off is my um, humble brag <laughs> because back when these books were being designed, um, the author promised to send me the alternate covers once they were released. And they finally got here last week. And I'm because I couldn't justify buying the whole series again because I've already spent many, many dollars on it. But my bestie sent them to me. So Sophie sent me all the alternate covers of Kingmakers. So, and she signed them for me. Um, yeah. She's so cute. Sorry, I'm reading the notes. So she sent me the air, the rebel, the bully, the spy, and the savage. So now I need to find a new shelf for my Sophie Lark because that poor shelf up there can't support this. I'm actually thinking like eventually I will make the shelf behind me a complete Sophie shelf and have like everything lined up there. Um, I think that I'll probably do that um, and move these ones up to there. I don't know. It's difficult. Okay. It's difficult to decide where to put my babies. All right. But I'm happy to have these. So, all right. So that is my book haul from the last couple months. Um, it's always hard to decide when to do a book haul because there's always more books coming, but these were beautiful and I was happy to um, get to share them with y'all. So thank you so much for watching this. Um, I have links for things I mentioned down below if you want to check that out. Um, if you want to check out my Patreon to support what I do here, you can do that as well. And I'll see you in the next video, y'all. Bye. Thank you.